Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Civil Life. Myself, Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at the LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Building Planet. This is the third lecture of this topic. In previous lecture, lecture number two, we have covered two topics, basic requirements for building learning, in which we have discussed about how the sites can be selected, number of building bylaws, orientation of the building, basic and functional requirements of the buildings and typical building layout in which we have discussed the difference between key plan, site plan and layout plan. In today's lecture, we will cover three topics. First is introduction to building drawing. In second topic, we have covered number of examples of building drawing. And lastly, we will understand various symbols for doors, windows and materials. Let's start with introduction to building drawings, in which we will cover first concept of building drawings and second details to be mentioned in building drawings. So what is the concept of building drawings? Let's understand. The drawing is the language of engineers. The main aim of building drawing is to give sufficient information by the designers to the construction engineers. In order to give sufficient information about the building, following views are generally drawn. These are known as working drawings or plans. Okay. Here in building drawings, three important drawings are mentioned. Plan of the building, elevation of the building and section of the building. Okay. Let's understand the plan of the building. The plan of the building gives general alignment or location of different drops of the building. Plan drawn in building drawing is not simply the top plan seen from the top of the building. The building is imagined to be cut by horizontal plan seen from the top of the building. Okay, So if you see the top portion of the building or room, you can easily draw the plan. Or you can cut the building in horizontal portion and see from the top, you can easily draw the building plan. Okay, this is called as the plan of the building. This is the plan of the building. Here the horizontal portion is cut. Okay, and seen from the top. Okay, so you can easily draw the plan of the building. Second is elevation. The view of the building as seen from the front side is known as elevation. Suppose this is the building. If you see the building from the front side, this portion is shown in elevation. Okay. In figure you can easily show this is the elevation. Okay. This is the front side of the building. The architecture beauty of any building depends upon the relative portion of the different parts to each other and the interface of the structure. For drawing front elevation of the building, imagine to stand in front of the building. Okay. For drawing elevation of the building, you have to assume that you are standing exactly in front of the building. Okay. Now, let's understand the section of the building. If you have plan and elevation, you can easily draw the section of the building. Okay. It gives more details for the work to be executed. Okay. This is the example of the section of the building. Okay. Here, from elevation, you can easily take the height of the section. Okay. And for drawing section, you have to cut the plan from vertical portion. This is the plan. If you cut this by vertical line, okay, and see from one side, you can easily draw the section of the building like this. Okay. The building is imagined to cut by vertical plan. The cross section gives the height of the building. Doors, windows, cupboards, stairways, and the locations. Okay, that's all about the plan, elevation, and section. Now let's understand various details to be mentioned in drawings. Okay, in drawings we have to mention construction and technical details, general norms, schedules, and the direction. Okay, generally not direction is shown in the drawings. First, construction and technical details, especially doors, windows, cupboards, stairs, railings, cornices, reinforcement in RCC works and other specially treated features requires separate views 
displaying them in details. Okay, so these details are mentioned as a technical details or construction details. Good details are therefore necessary to be drawn as a part of a set of drawing, working drawings. Details consist of the base views and cross section which can describe the design and construction of particular element or a part of the building. Scales used for details are 25th, 10th and so on. These are the various scales which are used in drawing the details. Okay. Second is general norms. Often details and certain points are better described by words than by drawings. For this very purpose notes are written on the set of drawing suitable for ready references. The size of such notes depends upon the type and amount of information to be given by it. Okay, this one note which is given. Foundation to be laid on a hard model. Depth of excavation not less than 3 feet. Basement to be provided with bamboo course. These are the various information or notes to be given to the construction engineer for proper construction of that component. Okay. Third is schedule. In schedule, we have provided number of uh, details of doors, windows, rooms, finishings or reinforcements. Okay. Preferably, these schedules are given on the drawing illustrating main plan. Okay. The various doors, windows, and cupboards, etc., may be designated as D1, D2, W1, W2, C1, C2, etc. A schedule of doors, windows, and cupboards then gives their sizes, okay, description, and total number of each type and against such conventions as D1, D2, etc. The tabulation form are adopted for such schedules, okay. This is the example of schedule of doors, windows and ventilators. Okay, this is how schedule looks like. This schedule gives the exact number of doors, windows and ventilators. Also gives number of sizes of each doors. Okay, that's all about schedules. Okay, now the fourth details which is mentioned on in the drawing is the direction. Usually not direction. North point shall be clearly indicated. It shall be drawn on the right hand top corner of the drawing like this. This is how north sign is given. Sometimes it gives the wind direction also. Okay. These are the various details mentioned in drawings. That's all about introduction to building drawings. Now let's move to the second topic of today's lecture which is building drawing. First is line plan. As owner's requirements changes with its needs, therefore, before preparing the plan, preparing a line plan is important. This is the example of line plan. Here, only number of rooms are arranged and the sizes are given. Okay. Alternative line plan would give scope for comparison by changes in the sizes of some rooms. Only the base line plan is adopted. Okay, so you have to present number of line plans to the users, and the users okay selected the base plan. It shows the shape of general layout of various rooms, enclosing walls and dividing partitions. The position of doors and windows are also included in line plan. Probable furniture and equipment are also shown in line plan. Okay. It is provided with internal dimensions and short notes explaining the ideas involved in the plan. By using line plan, the detailed working drawings like plan, elevation and section are to be prepared. Now, let's understand building drawing by one example. Draw a detailed plan and elevation of section of room size 4 meter by 3 meter. Take plinth height 45 centimeter. Also prepare the schedule giving the description of doors, windows, ventilators and cupboards etc. So here plan, elevation and section of one room is required. This is the plan, 
elevation and section of a room having size 2 meter by 3 meter. First of all, from line plan, we have to draw the plan. You can clearly see the plan of the building. This is the top view of the building. Okay. Plan shows the thickness of the wall, number of openings of the wall like windows, doors, its sizes, the room sizes, and the direction of wind or the uh, north direction. Okay. You can easily draw the elevation by assuming that you are standing exactly in front of the building. Okay. If you see the building, you can draw the elevation. Okay. In elevation, we have to show the height of the building. Okay. Here in elevation, the height of the building is 4.3 meter, including the parapet. Okay. Here 2.1 meter is the uh, door height and 1.2 meter is the window height. Okay. 45 centimeter is the plinth height. You can say. Okay. So in elevation, we have to show the ground level, floor level, and the height of the building. Okay. From plan and elevation, we can draw the section. Okay. For drawing section, we have to cut the plan in vertical manner like this. Okay. So here in plan, you can easily see one line, the access line. Okay. If you cut this building in vertical manner like this. And see the building from the one side, you can easily draw this section. Okay. In section, number of views are shown, like uh, the foundation details. Okay. Here the step type of foundation is drawn. Okay. You can easily observe number of uh, layers of plinth. Okay. Here in plinth, first layer is a uh, sand filling layer having 30 centimeter depth. Above that, one 10 cm layer having CC layer is also called as cement concrete layer. And above concrete layer, one cement mortar layer is there for tiles fitting. Okay. In section, number of chajja, lintels are also shown. Okay. You can easily see the parapet wall of the building. Okay. Having height 0.9 meter. Okay. So, you can easily draw this section by drawing plan and elevation. Okay. This is the city lock opening okay. in which number of doors, windows and cupboards having sizes and their numbers are shown. Okay. This is about the plan, elevation, section and city lock opening of a single room having size 4 meter by 3 meter. Let's see the second example. Draw detailed plan, elevation, and section of residential building from the line plan. Give necessary dimension and position of doors and windows. So here, one line plan is given. From line plan, we have to draw plan, elevation, and section of the building. This is the plan, line plan, which is given. From line plan, we can easily draw the plan of the building. For converting line plan to the plan, we have to know the thickness of the walls. Okay. So by providing thickness of the walls or drawing the thickness of the walls, we can easily convert line plan to the plan. Okay. We also draw the number of openings of the walls like doors, windows by their symbols. Like here, the symbol of door is given, symbol of windows is given. Okay. And the sizes of each room is also shown in the plan. Okay. There is a schedule of opening like D. Is of phone numbers having size 1.2 to 2.1 meter. Okay. Windows W having numbers 7. Okay. 7 windows are provided having size 0.9 meter by 1.2 meter. Okay. So this is the plan of the building or and schedule of opening of the building. Okay. Now let's draw the elevation and cross section of the building. This is the elevation of the building. Okay. Elevation is the front portion of the building. Okay. In elevation, we will draw the height of the building. Here, the height of the building is 4.4 meter. Okay. Plinth height is 0.6 meter. Okay. This is the ground level and floor level is shown. Okay. By extending the elevation, we can easily draw this section. Okay. For drawing section, we have to cut the building in vertical manner and see the building from the one side. Okay. In section, we will draw. Uh, number of uh, foundation details, plinth details, okay, 
number of uh, thickness of the walls, lintels, chajja, parapet, slabs, details, door height, okay, window height, etc. Okay, this is the section of a residential chimney. Okay. That's all about the elevation and section of the building. Now let's move to the third topic in today's lecture, which is symbols used for doors, windows, and materials. First, we will understand the symbols for doors and windows. These are the symbols for doors and windows. Okay, the first table is for doors, and second table is for windows. Indoors, there are number ten number types of door. ten types of doors are there, and the symbols are given. Okay, in windows. There are seven types of windows, and the symbols are shown. Now, let's understand symbols for materials. First symbol is for brick. Second is for concrete. Third is for natural or reconstructed reconstru stone. Fourth is partition blocks. Fifth is for wood. Sixth is for earth. Seventh is for hardcore. Eighth is for plaster. Ninth is for glass. 10th is for fiber board and 11th is for metal sections. Okay, the colors in the drawing is also given. Okay? That's all about the symbols of materials. Okay? I hope you all understand the introduction of building drawing. What is plan? What is line plan? What is elevation? What is section? And how line plan? plan elevation and section of a residential building can be drawn. See you soon in the next lecture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Civil Line. Thank you.